Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Worthington Library's online story times for winter session. Hi, my name is Miss Jenny, and I'm from Northwest Library, and I'm so glad you joined me today to do a story time. So today's story time theme is going to be, well, you know what? I'm going to start off this theme with a little rhyme, and this rhyme is for babies. So moms, dads, caregivers out there, this is for you to do with your babies, and it's a tickle rhyme. And you know what? For all you boys and girls out there that have a little brother or a little sister, a little baby one, maybe you can do this rhyme with them sometime too to help entertain them while mom and dad are busy. Or you can just do it too. So let's start. Here we go. It starts like this. Snow is falling down. Shh. Snow is falling down. Shh. Slowly, slowly, very slowly. Snow is falling down. Shh. Can you tell what our theme is going to be for story time today by that rhyme? Right, it's winter. We are going to do stories about winter and winter fun. But right now, let's start our story time with our hello song. Do you guys remember the song, The More We Get Together, that we did last session? Do you? Do you also remember the sign language to it? Let's review it just real quickly, just in case you forgot. Okay, so this means more. And this means together, like we're stirring a pot. And this means happy. This means your. This means friends. And this means my. You ready? Okay, here we go. Can you sing it with me and do the motions? And moms and dads and caregivers out there, those of you that have babies, Maybe you can just clap their little hands to this song because you know what? That's their first finger play. All right, here we go. Ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Wonderful. Thanks for helping me with that song today. Well, as I said, we're going to do stories and rhymes and songs about having fun in the winter. And today, the first story that I want to read you is one of my favorite winter stories, and it's called Under My Hood. I have a hat. And the author of this is Carla Puskin and Fumi Kosaka is the uh, illustrator. And I want to thank Harper Collins for allowing me to bring this story to you. They are the ones that publish this story. Okay, let's begin. Under my hood, I have a hat. Do you guys bundle up when you go play in the snow? Do you? Let's see. Let's see if you bundle up as much as this little girl does in our story today. Oh, there she is in her red snowsuit. It says, under my hood, I have a hat. Under that hat, my hair is flat. Under my coat, my sweater is blue. My sweater is red. I'm wearing two. Boy, she's really bundled up, isn't she? Oh, look at there's her dog, and there she is. What do you suppose she's drinking? Hot cocoa. What's she eating? Cookies. What's her dog drinking? I think he's drinking milk. I didn't know dogs drank milk. My dog doesn't drink milk. My dog really likes water. Look at dog biscuits or dog bones for her dog. They're coming and taking a break from playing in the snow, aren't they? Oh, here she goes. Here's her muffler. Do you know what another name is for muffler? Scarf. Scarf. Muffles to my chin, round my neck, and then tucks in. My gloves were knitted by my aunts. 
Oh, I have mittens too. And pants, and pants, and boots, and shoes, and socks inside. The boots are rubber and red and wide. Why do you suppose her boots are so wide? Maybe she wears shoes inside her boots. And when I walk, uh-oh, she's taking her dog for a walk. Oh, look what's coming down. What is that's coming down? I must not fall because what would happen if she would fall? What do you suppose? She's so bundled up. Oh, I can't get up at all. Oh, no. She's so bundled up, she can't get up. Well, speaking of bundled up, let's sing a song about that. Can you remember some of the things she wore? She did. She wore a hat. Oh, she wore a hat, didn't she? There's our hat. Okay, so we're going to sing a song about all the things she wore to go outside and play in the snow. And there's some actions to it. And this is to the tune of She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. So it starts off like this. If you could help me sing it. And you might want to stand up because part of this is an action rhyme where you're going to do motions too. And the first action, we're going to pat our heads, okay? Can you do that? I'll be wearing one warm hat when it snows. Pat, pat. I'll be wearing one warm hat when it snows. Pat, pat. I'll be wearing one warm hat. I'll be wearing one warm hat. I'll be wearing one warm hat when it snows. Pat, pat. What did she wear in her hands? Mittens, that's right. I brought some mittens with me. Some yellow mittens. Okay, now we're gonna clap our hands, okay? I'll be wearing two warm mittens when it snows. Clap, clap. I'll be wearing two warm mittens when it snows. Clap, clap. I'll be wearing two warm mittens. I'll be wearing two warm mittens. I'll be wearing two warm mittens when it snows. Clap, clap. <gasps> what else did she wear? Something that zips. What would that be? That's right, a coat. A blue coat. I'll be wearing one warm coat when it snows. Zip, zip. I'll be wearing one warm coat when it snows. Zip, zip. I'll be wearing one warm coat. I'll be wearing one warm coat. I'll be wearing one warm coat when it snows. Zip, zip. <gasps> what did she wear on her feet? Boots. She had red, wide boots on. And here's our red, wide boots. I'll be wearing two red boots when it snows. Stomp, stomp. Can you stomp your feet? I'll be wearing two red boots when it snows. Stomp, stomp. I'll be wearing two red boots. I'll be wearing two red boots. I'll be wearing two red boots when it snows. Stomp, stomp. Good job. Well, you know what, boys and girls? I have another little story to read to you today. And this is just a new book out, and it's called Pablo in the Snow. And it's written by Terry Sloat and published by the um, Henry Holt and Company. So we want to thank them as well. So, what is Pablo? Pablo's a lamb, isn't he? <gasps> Pablo is a little lamb, and he's warm and soft and fluffy. What's he, what does he have on? Does he have fur or wool? He's a lamb, so we say he has wool to keep him warm. Well, Pablo is young and just discovers the fun of winter. And I wonder what the fun of winter is. Could it be playing in the snow, maybe? Do you guys like to play in the snow, too? Let's see. Let's see if you guys play the same thing. Kind of like this little girl did as she bundled up before she went out. It's early in the morning, and the sheep are still dreaming. Except for Pablo. Pablo is looking out the window. Look, Papa, pieces of clouds are falling. Papa opens one eye. Those are just snowflakes, Pablo. Go back to sleep. Do you think Pablo wants to go back to sleep? But Pablo has never seen snow. What is it for, he wonders. He tiptoes past his Papa and his Mama to the barn door. Pablo pokes the snow with his toe. 
Oh, the snow feels soft, powdery, and fluffy. He takes a few steps and looks at the tracks behind him. <gasps> snow is for making a trail, says Pablo. But who made that trail? Hmm. Who made that trail, boys and girls? You think it's Pablo? Pablo follows the long tracks until he finds Rabbit pulling her sled. Hop on, says Rabbit. <gasps> Zip, zoom, swish, swish. They ride through the trees and into the meadow. Snow is for fun, says Pablo. <gasps> Pablo's discovering everything he can about snow today, isn't he? pages are stuck together. I'm sorry, boys and girls. Okay. At the bottom of the hill, Pablo finds new tracks to follow. Something sails past Pablo's nose. <gasps> what is that? Is this ice? Is that a hockey stick and a hockey puck? <gasps> Squirrel and Shrew are having a snowball fight. Back and forth snowballs fly. Snow is for throwing, shouts Pablo, ducking his head. Pablo finds more tracks. Hmm, wonder who these belong to. They lead him to the other side of the meadow where Fox is rolling a big snowball. But instead of throwing it, he rolls it bigger and bigger. The snowball grows round and smooth and heavy. Pablo helps Fox roll a second bigger snowball and then a third one. What do you think they're going to do with those snowballs? Let's turn the page and find out. <gasps> with Rabbit's help, they stack the snowballs one on top of the other. Squirrel finds an acorn for the nose. Rabbit places two frozen berries and a big smile. Pablo reaches up with two flat round stones for the eyes. And with Fox's help, Shrew adds a warm, fuzzy scarf. Snow is for making friends, says Pablo, laughing. What did they build? A snowman. The snow is falling faster now, and it's time to go back to my den, says the fox. Squirrel scurries up the tree. Shrew and Rabbit disappear into their burrows. A burrow is underground, and that's where a shrew and a rabbit will live. It's underground. So that's what they meant when they were going to their burrows, to their home. But Pablo does not want to leave his snowy friends behind. He looks up at the sky. Thick, gray snowflakes fall quietly. Pablo's friends look very sleepy. Pablo feels sleepy, too. Good night, Pablo tells his snow friend. Sleep tight. The snow is deep and wet and cold. I need to go home, thinks Pablo. Pablo looks for his tracks, but they've disappeared. Pablo is lost, <laughs> says Pablo. Oh my goodness, look at the snow. Look how it's piling up and it's getting dark. Oh. Through the trees, Pablo hears <laughs> Pablo knows these sounds. At the edge of the trees, he sees two lumps of snow with legs. Who could they be? One lump has Mama's eyes. One lump has Papa's eyes. Both lumps say, Bah! And give Pablo a big kiss. Mwah! Together, they make a trail back to the barn. They shake off the snow and snuggle close in the straw. Snow is for big adventures, thinks Pablo. But snow is cold and the barn is, barn is warm and dry. And Mama and Papa are very, very cozy. And that's what Pablo did. He discovered what snow was and what it was for. It was to have fun in, wasn't it? 
What did he do? He rode on a sled. He made tracks. He saw people having a snowball fight or friends having a snowball fight, and they built a snowman. Speaking of snowmen, I brought some snowmen with me. Let's count how many I brought, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and you know what else I brought? I brought big sun. Oh, and those snowmen are under the sun. What do you think is going to happen? Maybe. Okay, stand up, and we're gonna do this little rhyme. So you'll catch on after we do the first verse, and then you guys help me, okay? Okay, so we're gonna put a hat on. We're gonna put a big red bow. Then out comes the sun, and we're gonna melt. Can you melt to the ground? Okay, ready? Five little snowmen standing in a row. Each with a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it shone all day. And five little snowmen melted all away. Hi there, did you melt away? Okay, let's do it again. How many snowmen are there now? Four. Four little snowmen standing in a row. Each had a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it shone all day and one little snowman melted all away. Hi there, did you melt away again? All the way to the ground? Let's do it again. Remember to melt all the way to the ground. How many are there now? Three. Three little snowmen standing in a row. Each had a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it shone all day and one little snowman melted all away. Now how many are there? Two. Can you melt with me again? Two little snowmen standing in a row. Each had a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it shone all day and one little snowman melted all away. <gasps> Did you melt to the ground with me? Good. Okay, one more time. Now how many are left? Just one. One little snowman standing all alone. He had a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it shone all day. And that one little snowman melted away. How many are left now? Zero. None. So it went five, four, three, two, one. And now it's time, boys and girls, to say our goodbye rhyme. Can you help me tickle some clouds? Those clouds might have snow in them, so let's tickle them. Tickle the clouds. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle your toes. Tickle, 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 tickle. Can you turn around and tickle your nose? Can you reach down really, 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 really low? Now reach up really, really, really high. Story time's over. Goodbye. Until next time, boys and girls, be watching out for Miss Lisa because she's going to come by, stop by, and bring you a wonderful story time next week. Bye.